Hi and welcome to another how-to video on youtube.com slash home edition. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the access permission for all folders and files within a folder in Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8. Now, you might come across this scenario, and this is how you found the video. You have an old Windows folder that you are trying to delete on a different hard drive that's not your system drive and you get this message seen here access denied message or possibly a different message saying you're not the right user blah 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 well I'm gonna show you how to take control of that folder so you can delete it so let's get started alright so I am on my D drive right here on my computer and although I used to use this drive uh, for booting I don't use it anymore um, and I already did this procedure but I'm going to show you what I did so you can remove those pesky folders that are not allowing you to remove them or change files or whatever so right click the folder and click properties okay now select security and go down to where it says advanced okay here is my username and you might notice that the permission is special what I'm looking for is full control so this is what you do you click change permissions okay you highlight the username and this is mine right here and what I want to do is edit this I want to give myself full control so I can delete everything and right now I don't have the ability to delete okay so I'll just click full control and notice how this is checked apply these permissions to objects and or containers within the container only so that's the old Windows folder and you see this right here replace all child object permissions with inheritable permissions from this object so that's exactly what I want because I gave myself full control okay and I want to replace all the permissions with all the subfolders inside that Windows folder so I have full control because if one folder doesn't have the ability for you to delete it then you won't be able to delete that Windows folder so this is a necessary step make sure this box is selected and click apply and here's a security message this will replace explicitly defined permissions on all descendants of this object with inheritable permissions from Windows. Do you wish to continue? Yes. And now it's going to go through every file, subfolder, and change that permission so Lex on Lex PC has full control. So this will take a little bit of time. Oh, okay, there we go. We're done. So here's the dialog box that disappears. So now I click OK, OK, and OK. So, I know I could delete this folder now, but before I couldn't even delete the folders inside. So look, now I could just simply delete all of them. And let's just take a look at this real quick. So, we have 101 gigabytes, let's just refresh, okay, 101 gigabytes, free. So now, I'll delete the Windows folder, I'm sure that'll free up. Who knows, maybe 10 gig. All right, awesome. So we have 106 gigabytes. Well, that's how you do it. That's how you remove folders or change permissions on folders that are giving you a lot of problems. You basically have to let every folder and file from the top down know that you are the owner you're taking permission you have full control and you apply that setting that checkbox to apply it to every folder and child object afterwards and you'll be all set hey thanks for checking out this video please hit subscribe it's right there and also show me some love hit the thumbs up button somewhere over here all right peace